All right, so we're going to start with something a little bit different. You may or may not have seen something like this before. So I have 5 is less than or equal to 4x plus 9, which is less than 29. Now let's talk about what these are called. These are still inequalities, but these are tri or three-part inequalities. The goal here is this very similar as to when you have equations. The only thing that's different is this time I want to get x all by itself in the middle of the inequality. And the end result will be looking something similar like this. But again, where x is all by itself in the middle. So I'm going to start by thinking about this in three parts. Where whatever I do to... The inside, I also have to do to both parts of the outside. Now, in the inside, it's 4x plus 9, so I start the same way. I want to go ahead and subtract 9, but not just from both sides of the equation now. I want to subtract it from 9 from all three parts. Now, when I do that, I am left with 5 minus 9, which gives us negative 4, is less than or equal to... 4x, which is less than 20, 29 minus 9. Now, again, I want to get 4x only to have a coefficient of 1. I want to have x all by itself, so I divide all three pieces by 4 here. And now I have negative 4 divided by 4. Now, because I'm dividing by a positive 4, nothing changes. Don't change the direction of the inequality. So that just stays as a negative 1 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 5. To draw this as a number line, let's put our numbers in first. 0, negative 1, 1, 2, 3. So... What I want to do with this is match my corresponding open and closed circles. So because this is less than or equal to, that gets a filled in circle. And I go all the way up to 5, but because 5 is strictly less than, that gives me an open circle. The answer wants you to write this and write your answer in interval notation. So to go ahead and do this, I go back up to what my number line says. I start at negative 1. Negative 1 is included, so that means I want to have a bracket, then a negative 1, a comma, because I'm going all the way up to 5, but 5 is not included, so 5 gets a parenthesis. And that's the way that you would type in your answer for this question.